and so on, you have to be born with fireworks. There has to be stars in the sky and angels singing about your arrival and wise men coming over uh, to present gifts and so on. Because uh, all of that just makes sure that everyone knows you are significant. But so, um, in the creed it says he was before, born before all ages. Because they're trying to say he is completely God. He's not like God existed. And oh, by the way, in 1 AD, along comes a child of God. So he's always existed as Jesus, even though he doesn't come down from heaven until that particular point, right? Um, and to make sure they use the old Egyptian phrase that he's God of God, light of light, true God of true God. That's right out of the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Begotten, not made, consubstantial, that means one substance, with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Ghost and of the Virgin Mary and was made man. Incarnate, made meat, right? In chili con carne, right? You know, in, incarnate, right? Because um, we're meat. This is meat, right? Um, he was incarnate of the Holy Ghost and of the Virgin Mary and was made man, was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and the third day arose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of the Father and shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead of whose kingdom there shall be no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who together with the Father and the Son is to be adored and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. That's still said every Sunday in Catholic masses in various languages. Right? Um, and so it's the creed. This is, this is the whole thing that you have to believe. Well, Augustine explains how Jesus rescued us, how salvation occurs. The problem is that we feel that there's evil in the world. How do we escape this? Jesus suffers the worst possible fate, being crucified on a cross after being tortured in front of his friends and being given up by his friends. Even Peter famously denies him three times, right? Um, before the crow, or the, right, the, the rooster call, right? Um, so he's been totally abandoned. In fact, he's even, he feels abandoned by God himself, right? God, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me, right? Quote that, right? We're getting all right. Um, so, in this uh, interesting argument here, that, and that's God itself that's feeling abandoned by God. And if you think of it that way, that's God becoming an atheist at that moment, feeling like there is no God because God's abandoned him in that. And yet, Jesus goes on to say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. Right? So, he has forgiveness. In other words, he's only seeing the good, even though he's suffering all of this. So what he does is show, show us that we can no longer see evil by only seeing the good even in the worst situation. And then we are saved. 
And in fact, this works. If you were persuaded by Jesus to no longer see evil in the world and only see good, you are saved from evil by definition. You no longer see it. It actually works, right? The trouble, of course, is who of us wants to give up evil? It's so absolutely interesting and so attractive to blame someone for something, to not see, say, things that the president does as evil and say, well, it's good in its own way. How do you do? How do you do that? Who wants to give up that stuff, right? Um, so, imitatio Christi, or the imitation of Christ, you know, living a life where you have abandoned. Remember, I the very first question. I think, uh, apart from the Ten Commandments, I asked if Jesus came to your door and asked you to sell everything and go follow him, would you do it? Very few of us were really ready ready to just sell everything and just go follow him, you know? Because we like our stuff. We like our life. But our life includes good and evil. It includes, yay, my son got an A in his test, and boo, my son got punched in the nose by his, another kid, you know? You know we, that's life. That's the richness of life. We're, we're really attracted to that. Who of us really wants to give that all up and imitate Jesus? So following him is actually incredibly difficult. But if you did, and by the way, it seems like Augustine is literally then trying to do that as a bishop and teaching it to others, right? So there's the rule of Augustine. If you, if you want to live by the rule of Augustine uh, and become an Augustinian, I mean, did he question any of his, no, I guess not his, but like any of the teachings and like essentially ask why? He does, oh my goodness, his, he's absolutely passionate about asking uh, questions. But yeah, the, so the rule uh, is chastity, poverty, obedience, detachment from the world. the way this is what the orthodox Christianity is so yeah how does it become the religion of the empire that's another question I had asked right um, and if you think about it well it must have been really persuasive People must have really believed that this was good, good teaching, and, and they became enthusiastic about it. You know, what are they giving up? They're giving up a, a pagan religion uh, instead, right? Uh, so, so for for someone to have become a Christian at this point, um, was, by the way, the the idea of the um, the. Romans persecuting the Christians. That does actually occur. There are some historical records of them, but it's made to look a lot worse than it was, probably. Uh, you know, some of the ones that, that died as martyrs might have actually, you know, everyone wanted them to, to not be a martyr, but they insisted on it, you know. Uh, you know the, it's very complicated, really. Um, uh, but there is, there is this. Um, this is a movie. Do you ever feel as if everything is pointing towards something? Swear 
they wouldn't let me cancel it. So here, this is the trailer from the movie Agora.